Team 19H has decided to explore Case Study 1. How can we improve healthcare in the Pacific using limited resources? Team Pneumonia is one of the major preventable causes of death for children under 5 years in the Pacific Islands. There is a clear disparity in terms of health outcomes for Samoa and Toklo compared to Australia for pneumonia. In terms of the infant mortality rate, healthcare expenditure, healthcare performance, and access to treatment. There is the main identifiable early stage symptoms of pneumonia include a high temperature and irregular breathing, which follows a unique pattern. Introducing Lungs for Life a culture-sensitive solution to preventing deaths caused by pneumonia. Our BIP design will serve as a diagnostic tool for recognizing the symptoms of pneumonia for babies under the age of 5. The BIP will be baby-safe, have a culturally appropriate design, and include a zipper compartment that the sensors can be placed inside. The sensor will include a vibroacoustic sensor, a speaker, LEDs, solar panel, rechargeable clock battery to store power, and a hard drive to store data. REST app has developed a software that can recognize the breathing patterns of someone with pneumonia. This software could be stored on the hard drive. Our BIP and additional necklace design has been created to expand the use of the product to older age groups. Our product works in conjunction with a cheap, powerless thermometer from Mobile Doctor Technologies. The thermometer will not provide a reading to the user, but rather will trigger the sensor to release a signal if the child has a fever. Our First, the mother will place the child on a flat surface. She will then take the thermometer she's received from the doctor and place it on the baby's skin. Then she will place the sensor near or on top of the thermometer. The thermometer will then detect the child's temperature and transmit it to the sensor. If the sensor detects that the child has a fever, it will transmit a signal to the mother. The mother will then take the bib and place it on the child and place the sensor inside. Now the sensor will analyze the breathing pattern of the child and compare it against an algorithm. If the algorithm suggests that the child may have pneumonia, it will send out a second signal to the mother. The mother will then respond accordingly by seeking further medical advice. The sensor can then be placed in the sunlight in order to charge. A crucial component of implementation is the culturally conscious distribution of the product. The product will be distributed to mothers during their usual pregnancy consultations. Community education through workshops and posters about the dangers of pneumonia and how to use the device will provide the incentive to ensure effective uptake. The product only requires an initial funding cost and minimal to no ongoing costs associated with use. This would allow a non-government organisation such as Redar to support the initial costs and allow the islands to remain independent without relying on ongoing financial aid. The use of cheap and accessible materials allows for a low cost of production and early pneumonia detection will reduce treatment costs down the track. It will be a low-powered, solar-powered and robust device making it a sustainable solution for those living in rural communities mm -hmm. without power. Community involvement will be ensured through educational workshops and participation in design decisions. This will be an accessible solution that does not limit use according to skill levels, literacy levels or internet access. Language barriers and cultural norms must be considered by the team that will implement the product in order to ensure sufficient adoption. Looking into the future, the implementation of high-speed internet cables will provide additional benefits, including providing algorithm updates and data collection for disease surveillance. The diagnostic tool could also be expanded upon and scaled for the detection of other diseases, potentially including COVID-19. Lungs for Life ensures proper mechanisms are set up and that the local population 
are empowered to eliminate preventable death and disease arising from pneumonia.